Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review. Got a new one from Rogue One. Um, you know, people in the United States still waiting these 12, 12 months on from their pre-orders at Target. These are meant to be Target exclusives. And uh, yeah, so far these have really only shown up in the UK. Um, this one along with Antok Merrick and uh, some Bodhi Rooks have actually managed to sort of make it outside the UK. But um... So far, Galen Erso and Antok Merrick are ones that have to be sort of sourced from the United States at the moment, if not a uh, eBay exclusive, if you wish. Um, so yeah, I did buy this off eBay, had to, only way to get this one. Um, didn't want to miss out on Galen. Um, I do have Antok Merrick in, on the way, hopefully. Uh, I did order them both from the same place at the same time. And for some reason, this is the only one that's shown up. So, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll show up. Um, they may have just packaged them separately. Um, I did send them a message, so I don't know, maybe they uh, mispacked or something like that. So fingers crossed I'll get that soon. But yeah, very happy to get Galen Erso. He looks fantastic, really good likeness. Um, he's number seven in the Rogue One. Pity that uh, it's not easier to get um, for those in the US and here in Australia at least, and, and other countries outside of the UK. It's a bit of a strange circumstances with this one. But uh, yeah, nice to have it in the collection. Little write-up on the back says, Galen Erso was coerced into using kyber crystals to enhance energy yields, work then weaponized to create the Death Star Super Laser. So we do have the Death Star. There, the Scarif Tower. Here's Galen Erso in the packaging. So without further ado, let's crack him open and have a look. All right, here is Galen out of the packaging. I think he looks good. I think it's a nice addition to the line. Um, yeah, even given the three and three quarter one was quite difficult to track down as well. Um, there definitely weren't too many of those. Lots of the last few figures of the Rogue One uh, three and three quarter uh, five POA line back in the day. Um, nice to have him in the collection. It's, you know, some angles it doesn't quite look like Mads Mikkelsen, others it does. So it all depends on lighting. But yeah, for the most part, it is a reused uh, figure from either of the Imperial Commanders. I believe that the uh, torso, upper torso is slightly retooled to accommodate that sort of new neck technology. So you can really be sticking his neck out for, just looks a little, looks a little strange, but it's okay. It's appreciated. Extra details are always appreciated. Accessory wise, only comes with the Death Star plans, which he never actually possesses in the film. But uh, it's it's an accessory either way, so I'm not going to complain. Um, he didn't wield any weapons in, in the movie, so he's uh, who we find to sort of hold on to this this chip, this USB port. But yeah, nice. I love like the look of the sort of the science officer outfits with the uh, logo on the shoulder there. And it looks pretty good. I like the green. It's sort of a, I know it's sort of meant to be white, but it's sort of an off blue at the top there as well. And that looks okay. I guess that's sort of uh, symbolic of the science division or whatever they, they are. They're researching there on Edu. Part of the whole squad there. But yeah, you can see what I mean. It looks looks like Mads in some angles, others not so much. But yeah, I do believe it. Look, I d for my point of view, I think it looks good. I think it looks fine. It's right there, yeah, you can definitely see Mads, Mads Mikkelsen there. Personally, would have liked to have seen like Farmer, Farmer Galen. And Lyra, that would have been cool to have. Maybe a young Jin. I don't know, they probably won't, but uh, Hasbro of old would have. <laughs> but uh, yeah, times are different now, aren't they? So yeah, I don't really know what else to, to say about this figure. It's it's pretty simple. It's a, it's a nice one to have. So yeah, this is a very quick review. Um, yeah, it's not like I said, not a great deal to talk about. It was great to see Mads Mikkelsen make his debut into Star Wars, 
and uh, it'll be really cool to see see his brother Lars Mikkelsen apparently cast as live action Thrawn which why wouldn't you but there we have Galen Erso I think it's a it's a nice figure yeah definitely looking forward to being able to set this one up on a Rogue One shelf and uh, yeah I mean fingers crossed Hasbro decide to do a bit of an update for director Krennic I think uh, that's a must-have. I think uh, that's a very deserving character of a of an update. Um, given that they have updated all the other Rogue One figures, I think um, yeah, Director Krennic is definitely definitely worthy of an update. Yeah, look at that angle. Just that lighting hits perfectly there. It looks looks good. So yeah, please let me know what you think of Galen Erso. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Always do. Always appreciate you guys hanging out and watching my reviews. Um, yeah, I've got some more on the way, as always. You know, and stay tuned for uh, Obi Wan Kenobi Mission Report coming this Friday. Um, look, yeah, just talk about episode five of Obi Wan Kenobi. So stay tuned to then, and uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all that cool stuff that makes you cool, I guess. <laughs> okay, I'm rambling. I'll see you in the next video. May the force be with you always.